Tales of Heritage, Embracing the Past, Inspiring the Future. Welcome back to Tales of Heritage, the channel where we delve into the fascinating world of art history. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss our future videos. Today, we're taking a journey back to ancient Egypt, to a time when the tradition of mummy portraiture was at its peak. We're revisiting the captivating Fayyim portraits. In our previous video, we provided a general overview of these stunning pieces of art. But today, we're going deeper. We're going to explore as many of these portraits as we can, immersing ourselves in the rich details and stories they hold. So sit back, relax, and join us as we present Fayyim Portraits Reload. Intriguing and captivating, the mummy portrait of Serapon unveils a young man from ancient Egypt, clad in a pristine white tunic and adorned with a mass of curly black hair. His youthful countenance, marked by a full, almost tender mouth and striking wide-set eyes, holds an arresting gaze. The accompanying label, reminiscent of a mummy tag, bears his name, Serapon, son of Heresus, reflecting ancient practices. Dating back to the 2nd century AD, this 13 and a quarter x 16 and a half inch portrait not only encapsulates the essence of youth but also embodies the meticulous artistry of Egyptian Meet Utix, captured in an incredibly lifelike Roman period portrait. At a height of 38 centimeters and a width of 19 centimeters, this encausticon wood masterpiece portrays a serene teenage boy, gazing calmly in three-quarter view. Dressed in a white Roman tunic adorned with a narrow purple clavis over his right shoulder and a draped mantle on the left, his short, dark brown hair frames his forehead. The Greek inscription, open to scholarly interpretation, identifies him as Eutyx, freedman of Cassanios, possibly son of Heraclides Evandros. Uncertainty lingers whether the inscription refers to the painter or a manumission witnessed by Heraclides or Evandros. Reflecting the multicultural society of Roman Egypt, these Fayyim portraits showcase the encaustic technique, enabling an oil painting-like depth. The subtle brushstrokes and nuanced shading create lifelike contours and shadows, while the strikingly realistic dark brown Enter the world of a Fayyam portrait, a captivating glimpse into ancient life, featuring the boy with a floral garland in his hair. Created around 200 to 230 AD, this tempera on Cypress panel artwork stands at 11 and 3 quarters to 7 and 13 sixteenths to 3 eighths inches. The boy faces almost directly forward, adorned with a delicate floral wreath encircling his head, complemented by a necklace. His right hand delicately holds a cup, while the left grasps a garland, possibly tied with strings. The entire painting is bordered, presenting a remarkably well-preserved piece, exhibiting minor paint imperfections and slight looseness. This portrait not only captures a Behold the intriguing mummy portrait of a youth, dating back to AD 150-200, offering a window into ancient beliefs. This young boy, wearing a small amulet container, reflects the era's reliance on magical protection. His unique hairstyle, aligning with devotees of Isis, adorns an adult funerary tunic with detailed encaustic brushwork on wood. Despite its smaller size, resin staining suggests its placement within mummy wrappings, an anomaly among portraits of children. This rare artwork preserves the artist's skill, 
providing a captivating glimpse into ancient rites and beliefs. Enter the captivating world of Roman Egypt with the vivid mummy portrait of a girl, a vibrant relic dating back to AD 120 to 150 painted on sycamore wood. This lively portrayal showcases a young girl adorned with a leafy wreath in her hair, her gaze turned away, framed by thick lashes, a mesmerizing testament to ancient artistry now housed at Liebig House, Frankfurt on Main offering an enchanting glimpse into the cultural richness of that era. Transporting us to Roman Egypt around 150, the Fiam portrait of a child, housed in the National Museum, Warsaw, Poland, captures the essence of a young life lost in the second century. The delicate features of the portrayed figure suggest a young girl, yet nuanced details, such as the hairstyle, known as the lock of youth, behind the right ear, typically worn by boys, and the absence of earrings, indicate a boy. The youth dons a Roman-style white tunic adorned with a vertical purple belt, resembling Roman clavi. Draped over the left shoulder is a cloak, while around the neck hangs a golden amulet resembling a cylinder, secured with a ribbon. Intriguingly, the right eye and brow differ from the left, evidence of an antiquarian's intervention, possibly mending damages with a section from another portrait. A cylindrical container on the boy's neck once held amulets, safeguarding against evil. The background features a small silhouette of a horse standing by an oak tree, a motif challenging interpretation, perhaps a departure from the typical Roman iconography of chariot races on children's sarcophagi. The dimensions measure at a height of 37 centimeters and a width of 18 centimeters, adding depth to this enigmatic portrait of a Roman youth. Presenting the mummy portrait of a boy, a captivating glimpse into the enigmatic world of Roman Egypt. Crafted with encaustic paint on wood, this portrait, like many of its counterparts, bears traces of being trimmed to fit its casing, sparking debates among archaeologists about its original purpose. The boy gazes forward with wide-open eyes, notable large ears in proportion to his head and a mop of short black hair. Expressive eyebrows add character to his countenance while he is adorned in simple white clothing. The evidence of alterations has led some to argue that these portraits were initially created from life, later adapted for funerary purposes. This intricately detailed portrayal offers a poignant connection to a young life from ancient times frozen in the artistry of Roman Egypt. Behold the intriguing funerary portrait of a child, challenging immediate gender identification. Clad in a white tunic and adorned with a lamella necklace, commonly worn by elite male children, this artwork offers a poignant glimpse into the cultural nuances of ancient Mediterranean elites. The lamella, a container for a small gold sheet inscribed with a magical spell for protection, highlights the intricate beliefs woven into daily life. Portraits of children were a rarity in ancient Mediterranean art, with a notable shift during the Roman Republic, where an increase in children's portraits, especially boys, became prominent. This portrait, measuring irregularly at 10 and 13 sixteenths to 6 inches, stands as a testament to this shift, accompanied by the presence of a nearby marble sculpture of a boy's head, likely another poignant funerary portrait. These artifacts echo the artistry and cultural transitions of the second century. Presenting the Fayum mummy portrait of a young boy with curly hair, a timeless glimpse into ancient Egypt dating back to 100 to 150 AD. Crafted with encaustic paint on wood, this portrait was discovered in 1887 in the Fayum oasis and acquired in 1927 by Theodore Graff. Reflecting the fusion of Roman inhabitants' funerary practices with Egyptian mummification customs, these portraits, not of Egyptian but Roman style, accompanied the mummies. This exquisite piece offers a unique intersection of cultures preserved through the ages and provides a poignant connection to the individuals of ancient fam. Presenting the portrait of a boy, 
an encaustic painting on wood originating from Fayum and currently displayed at the Louvre Museum in Paris. Discovered in Antinoe in Middle Egypt, this exquisite artwork dates back to the years 175 to 225 AD. The portrait features a child with closely cropped hair, dressed in a tunic with clavi, and includes another figure in the background, reflecting the cultural amalgamation of Roman Egypt. Physical dimensions reveal a piece standing at 29.7 cm in height, 17.3 cm in width, and 1.5 cm in thickness, crafted on a canvas of sycamore fig tree. Executed through the encaustic technique, this painting encapsulates a moment in ancient history, fostering a profound connection to the artistic and cultural heritage of ancient Egypt. Presenting the mummy portrait of a boy dating back to the 2nd century AD, this Roman artwork crafted in encaustic on lime wood stands as a captivating piece from antiquity. With an unknown origin, this portrait measures 31 centimeters in height with a maximum width of 12 centimeters and a thickness of 0.1 centimeters. Currently housed in the Landes Museum Württemberg under the inventory number 7.4, it belongs to the Sieglin collection in the Antique Ensembling but is not currently on display. A testament to Roman mummy decoration in Egypt, this piece is part of Ernst von Sieglin's collection as explored by Nina Wilberger in her work on Roman mummy adornments. Discover the timeless allure of ancient art through this poignant portrayal of a young boy. Introducing the portrait of a youth with a surgical cut in one eye, dating back to AD 190 to 210, this compelling artwork delves into the intricacies of ancient medical intervention. The faint facial hair on the jaws and upper lip denotes the subject's youth. Notably, the right eye displays signs of a treated abnormality, evident in the grayish fold of skin beneath the lower lid, the absence of lashes, and a slightly slack right cheek, a condition potentially alleviated through a surgical cut, indicated by the straight line on the lower lid. The panel's lighter palette, distinct from its counterparts, resembles paintings from Haera in the Fayum. Despite its historical significance, this portrait has a darker chapter, it was unfortunately utilized in the past to illustrate racist and anti-Semitic literature, underscoring the complex narratives woven into ancient art. Presenting the boy with a floral garland in his hair, a captivating Fayum portrait that transcends time dating back to circa 200 to 230 AD. Executed in tempera on Cyprus panel, Cupressus Sempervirens, this masterpiece captures the essence of a young boy with his face almost full front, adorned with a delightful floral wreath around his head and a necklace accentuating his charm. In a graceful pose, his right hand holds a cup in front of his body while the left hand is uplifted, grasping a garland with tie strings. The entire painting is embraced by a meticulously painted border, showcasing the artist's attention to detail. Despite the passage of centuries, the condition of this portrait remains remarkably good with only small spots of missing paint and some slight looseness. The dimensions, measuring at 29.9 to 19.8 to 0.9 centimeters, invite us to appreciate the artistry and beauty preserved in this exquisite piece from the ancient world. Similar to the previous one, we are presenting the portrait of a young person, a Romano-Egyptian masterpiece from around AD 200 to 230. Executed in tempera on a ficus sycamorous panel, this portrait, measuring 28.4 to 15.7 centimeters, captures the timeless elegance of youth. The subject gazes almost full front, adorned with a necklace around his neck. In a graceful pose, the right hand holds a cup in front of the body, while the left hand is uplifted, delicately grasping a garland. This exquisite artwork invites us to witness the continuity of artistic expression in the ancient world where the beauty of floral adornments and the intricacies of human expression transcend the passage of time.
Introducing the poignant, funerary portrait of a young girl, a delicate masterpiece crafted in encaustic on wood, measuring 39.4 by 17.4 centimeters. This portrait offers a glimpse into the Roman world, precisely dating to the end of Emperor Tiberius's reign, AD 14 to 37, evident in the meticulously depicted hairstyle, jewelry, and clothing reflecting contemporary fashion. The artist's meticulous attention to detail extends to the rendering of skin tone, facial hair, and bone structure, revealing a keen sense of the subject's individuality. Through these nuanced elements, the artist captures not just a likeness but also a profound sense of the subject's mortality. An exceptional touch is added with gilded details on the lips and jewelry, a rare feature that symbolizes the individual's metamorphosis in death into a blessed spirit, or Ock, a luminous being. This portrait transcends time, inviting contemplation on the intersection of art, mortality, and spirituality in the ancient Roman world. In the captivating mosaic of Fiam portraits, we now shift our gaze to a poignant mummy portrait of a boy with a juvenile curl of hair, originating from Roman Egypt around 225 to 250 CE. Hailing from the ancient Fayyum oasis in Egypt, this exquisite piece, rendered in encaustic on wood, found its way into the spotlight after its discovery in 1887. Acquired from the esteemed collection Theodore Graf in 1927, it now graces the halls of the Altes Museum in Berlin, Germany. As we traverse the intricate brushstrokes and timeless narratives, this portrait stands as a testament to the enduring allure of youth captured in the enigmatic embrace of encaustic artistry. Embark on a journey through time with the captivating portrait of a pre-adolescent boy, a masterpiece painted in tempera on linen cloth. The young boy, aged 9 to 13, engages the viewer with expressive eyes against a bluish-gray backdrop. Delicate facial features and Greek-style dark brown curly hair, framing the brow and the Horus lock, hint at his origin in Arubiat, Fayum Oasis. Symbolizing a rite of passage, the Malakuria, his lock was traditionally severed at puberty, marking entry into Greek education. Dressed in a white tunic with a Roman elite's brownish-black clavis, and an off-white mantle, he epitomizes cultural fusion. Adorned with Egyptian-style gold pendant amulets, each element tells a poignant tale of a youth straddling two worlds, captured in the timeless brushstrokes of art. As we bid farewell to the innocent visages of youth, our journey through the enigmatic realm of Fiam portraits takes a turn towards the depth and wisdom etched on the faces of adults. Join us as we explore the captivating mummy portraits of adults, where the canvas becomes a chronicle and every stroke echoes the symphony of ancient lives. Let the journey recommence as we present Fiam portraits, echoes of adulthood. Unveiling the poignant scene of a mummy with an inserted panel portrait, this preserved body belongs to an unidentified youth, its visage frozen in time. The portrait, still in its original position, depicts a young man with large, deep-set eyes and a gently downturned mouth, capturing the nuances of his countenance. The presence of a downy mustache suggests an age no older than his early twenties, echoing the societal connotations in Greek-educated Roman Egypt. In this cultural context, the incipient mustache symbolized a young man's initiation into significant social circles, marking the prime of his sexual attractiveness and vigor. During this era, mummies could be kept above ground for extended periods, ranging from months to several years, before their final burial. It is likely that they were housed in chapels within cemeteries, serving as focal points for ritual meals and visited by grieving relatives. This practice underscores the profound connection between life, 
death and ritual in the intricate tapestry of ancient Roman Egyptian society. Explore the earliest and most artistically superior, Fayum portrait, in the Getty Museum, the recently acquired Portrait of a Lady. This encaustic masterpiece on wood showcases impeccable preservation, offering a rare glimpse of how such portraits looked when wrapped in mummies. An intriguing short inscription, likely identifying the subject as Isidora, adds an element of mystery. Isidora, a woman of middle age, exudes refined features reflecting the Mediterranean aristocracy during Greco-Roman times. Her elegant coiled braid, adorned with curled locks and opulent jewelry, including earrings and necklaces, showcase her wealth and sophistication. The regilded gold accents, including the wreath in her hair, highlight meticulous attention to detail during insertion or burial. This captivating depiction captures Isidora's timeless elegance, revealing the essence of a bygone era with unparalleled grace. Experience the allure of a noblewoman brought to life in this Fiam painting on wood dating back to AD 150. The panel depicts a young woman with sleek, close-fitting black hair, captivating dark brown eyes, and lips adorned with a touch of red. Her pink skin radiates a lifelike glow, enhancing the enigmatic charm of this ancient portrayal. Clad in a white garment with a strap gracefully draped over her right shoulder, the noblewoman captivates with timeless elegance. However, the wooden panel bears the marks of time, showing warping, splits, and missing paint in various places. Despite these imperfections, the encaustic technique used to create this masterpiece endows it with a lasting allure, inviting us to contemplate the beauty of the past. Embark on a journey into the Roman period with this captivating Fayum mummy portrait, a lifelike funerary portrayal from Fayum, Egypt, now housed in the New York Carlsberg Glyptothek, Copenhagen. Crafted using the encaustic technique on linen, this life-sized masterpiece unveils the intriguing blend of Roman influence and Egyptian customs during this transformative era. As Romans flocked to the newly incorporated Egyptian province, some embraced the local traditions to the extent of preserving their deceased in the Egyptian manner. However, rather than opting for the customary mummy mask, they chose a unique approach, painting naturalistic portraits. Dated to AD 150, this poignant fusion of Roman style and Egyptian funerary practices unveils the dynamic cultural tapestry woven during this period of historical transition. Delve into the intriguing gaze of a young man from the Romano-Egyptian era captured in this mummy portrait dating back to AD 100 to 125. The contemplative turn of his head to the left, coupled with the subtle mustache and short hairstyle, places this artwork firmly within the fashion trends of its time. While scholars can't pinpoint its exact origin, several distinctive features point towards a likely connection to Hara, a significant archaeological site associated with the cemetery of Arsino in the Fayum region. The alignment of the man's gaze, the design of his tunic stripe, the graceful draping of his cloak, and the rounded form of the panel find resonances with portraits from the renowned Hara site, offering a glimpse into the potential hometown of this enigmatic individual. Step into the gaze of a bearded man from around AD 150 to 170, as captured in this remarkable mummy portrait. His tightly curled black hair, thick eyebrows, and expressive facial hair are meticulously depicted, adorned in a white funerary tunic featuring red clay by. The mantle draped over his shoulder hints at an intricate H pattern, possibly suggesting an embroidered motif akin to another portrait. Executed in the encaustic technique, the absence of a ground layer allows for a vivid, painterly surface with visible brush strokes and tool markings. 
The neutral grayish-white background and white tunic showcase thick parallel lines radiating from the portrait, emphasizing its impastoed face and hair, with incised details like eyelashes. The use of a cestrum in creating textured pigment is evident. Pigment analysis reveals a palette of iron oxides, red organic plant dye, matter, and lead white. Despite the thin and curved lindenwood panel, the portrait is in excellent condition, with a distinctive diagonal cut in the upper corners associated with aerobiate portraits. Dimensions, 37 by 21 centimeters. Transport yourself to the period of 175 to 225 AD in the flourishing oasis of Fayum, Egypt, as you encounter yet another captivating portrait. The rich history of Fayum, marked by cycles of prosperity and decline, witnessed a renaissance around the beginning of our era, lasting till the end of the 3rd century. In the burial fields surrounding the oasis, approximately 750 portraits, portraying a diverse array of men, women, and children, were unearthed. Notably, the distinctive facial features suggest these individuals were depicted from life. Executed with the encaustic technique, the application of hot wax mixed with pigments created a semi-transparent effect, preserving the color's natural brightness and intensity over the centuries. Initially gracing the walls of affluent townsmen, these portraits underwent a transformative journey, transitioning to be attached to mummies' heads after the demise of the portrayed individuals. Departing from the traditional Egyptian style, these Fayum portraits offer a departure from idealized, ageless depictions to present realistic renderings of real persons. Enter the realm of the 1st century AD, where the ancient artistry of Fayum unveils a mesmerizing portrait of a man adorned in a blue cloak. In the rich tapestry of Roman period Egyptian mummies, these full-face portraits, predominantly originating from Fayum, grace the scenes of the 2nd and 3rd centuries AD. Executed in the exquisite encaustic paint on wooden panels, a technique perfected by the Fayum masters, this portrait of an elderly man epitomizes artistic brilliance. The meticulous artistry captures not only the subject's physical authenticity but also showcases the skillful plastic molding of the face, rendering it with lifelike depth. The palette of natural colors further enhances the captivating allure of this early masterpiece, a testament to the enduring legacy of Fayum's artistic mastery. Transport yourself to the intriguing crossroads of AD 170 to 200, where a Romano-Egyptian funerary portrait breeds life into ancient artistry. Crafted with meticulous precision, this masterpiece unfolds on a native Egyptian sycamore fig panel, each stroke a testament to the Fayum tradition. The woman, her gaze laden with large, heavy-lidded eyes, emerges from a gray underlayer, her visage a symphony of finely applied linear brush strokes. Against the blocky, impressionistic swaths of pink for her tunic and indigo stripes for the clavi, the portrait weaves a narrative of Roman citizenship and elite status. The pink hue, born from matter dye, resonates with the symbolism of expensive purple tunics, a nod to eternal association with opulence. Adorned with a plated gold chain and suspended pearl earrings, the woman's wealth echoes through rare gems imported from Persia. Her black hair, drawn into a bun, whispers of the Antonine period's fashionable trends AD 96 to 192. Amidst the nuances of style and historical context, the carbon, 14 dates of 38 BC AD 66 reveal an early origin, suggesting the recycling of a revered wooden panel. A practice not uncommon in the treasure-laden landscapes of Roman Egypt.
Step into the captivating world of ancient artistry with a mummy portrait that transcends time. Painted on wood in the enchanting technique of encaustic, this portrait, housed in the Kunsthistrisches Museum Vienna, unveils a smiling young woman from the shadows of AD 161 to 192. The artist, wielding colored pigments mixed with liquid wax, creates a masterpiece where warmth fuses layers, etching delicate details like arched eyebrows and velvety cheeks. The lifelike surface contrasts the dark hair and luminescent pink tunic, adorned with golden ear pendants, pearls, and necklaces, among them, a medusa pendant. The rings around her neck and suggested breasts whisper an erotic allure. The simplicity of her pinned-up hair and large, expressive eyes mirrors the likeness of Faustina, wife of Emperor Marcus Aurelius. Beyond artistry, this portrait, laid over the embalmed mummy, intertwines with ancient Egyptian beliefs, preserving the facial features for the eternal journey in the afterlife. In the ethereal realm of ancient artistry, a Fiam portrait of a woman emerges from the mists of the 3rd to 4th century. Crafted with the timeless medium of wax paint on panel, the portrait captivates with its beguiling features a pair of big, expressive eyes that seem to hold the secrets of a bygone era. Delicate short hair frames the countenance, echoing the whispers of antiquity. Adorned with a necklace gracing her neck and earrings that dance in the flickering light, she embodies an aristocratic figure frozen in time. This enigmatic portrayal invites you to traverse the corridors of history and glimpse into the soul of a woman whose essence lingers through the ages. In the hallowed collection of the British Museum, a captivating Fiam mummy portrait unveils the visage of a woman, delicately rendered in encaustic on limewood. The panel, marked by the passage of time, bears fissures on the left side, and a well-intentioned yet unfortunate conservation effort has left its mark on the right eye and brow. A whisper of paraffin wax coats the surface, as if preserving a secret whispered through the ages. Cloaked in a refined aura, the subject dons a plain white tunic beneath a magenta mantle, its folds skillfully hinted in darker hues, reminiscent of sculpted stone and terracotta busts from the North African provinces. The adornments are an opulent symphony, two gold hoop earrings with pendant pearls, an upper necklace of emerald beads intertwined with gold, and a lower one, a twisted gold chain. The coiffure, with waved hair cascading elegantly, conceals a snail-like dance around the central parting. Her eyes, a profound dark brown, tell tales of the bygone, meeting above the long nose, while the closed lips were an orangey-pink hue. Creamy highlights dance upon her face, painted in warm cream and pink tones, echoing the grace of Cyrenaican portraits. This timeless portrait, dating between 160 to 180 AD, invites contemplation into the rich tapestry of ancient artistry and the enduring allure of an enigmatic woman. In the illustrious galleries of the British Museum, a captivating chapter of ancient portraiture unfolds with a Fiam mummy portrait on an oblong oak panel. Executed in encaustic, this portrait unveils the visage of a woman adorned with the finery of her era. Her ears grace pearl and gold earrings, while a loop-in-loop -loop gold chain, crowned with a central medallion, drapes elegantly over a purple tunic. The panel, a silent witness to the passage of centuries, carries the echoes of its origin in Kam El Karaba El Kabir, a site steeped in the sands of Fayyam, Egypt. The portrait, a testament to the artistry of its time, whispers the stories of ancient lives dated gracefully to the year 200 AD. 
inviting contemporary beholders to traverse the corridors of time and glimpse the countenance of a woman from the sands of Qam el Karaba el Kabir. Within the hallowed halls of the British Museum resides a captivating relic from the sands of Saqqara, Egypt, a Fayyam mummy portrait on a round-topped limewood panel. The encaustic portrait captures the essence of a woman, adorned with a myrtle wreath and bedecked in gold jewelry, the details enriched by the luminosity of gold leaf. Crafted with exquisite artistry, the panel beckons from the era of 100 to 120 AD, circa. With a height of 37.4 cm and a width of 17 cm, this ancient visage invites contemporary eyes to peer through the temporal veil and glimpse the countenance of a woman from Saqqara, immortalized in encaustic allure. Enter the British Museum's realm where a Fayyam mummy portrait unfolds its tale. In the brushstrokes of encaustic and tempera, a military officer emerges, frozen in time around 160 to 170 AD. Gaze upon the split oak panel bearing the marks of ages past. Draped in a creamy tunic, an olive sagum graces his left shoulder, a symbol of martial distinction. The red Baltius, adorned with gold, cinches his waist, an insignia of valor. Observe the officer's visage, a crafted semblance of Lucius Verus, with a full mustache and beard. A tangle of brown, curly locks frames an expression of perpetual surprise. Bushy, arched eyebrows crown round, protruding brown eyes, overlooking a very long nose and lips painted in warm hues of brown, cream, and red. This portrait and artistic relic speaks silently of a bygone era capturing the essence of a military luminary. Journey to the Archaeological Museum of Strasbourg in France, where an exquisite Fayum portrait awaits exploration. This encaustic painting, dating back to the second century, unveils the image of a young woman. Adorned with earrings and a pearl necklace, she emanates timeless beauty. Immerse yourself in the captivating allure of this ancient masterpiece, a window to the first century, meticulously preserved within the sacred confines of Strasbourg's archaeological museum. If you've enjoyed learning about these fascinating Fayum portraits, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more historical insights. Share this video with your friends and family who share a passion for art and history. Also, leave a comment below letting us know your thoughts or any questions you might have about the intriguing Fayum portraits. Now, here's a question for you, our audience. Which Fayum portrait detail stood out to you the most, and why? Let's start a conversation in the comments. Portrait of a man in the Rhode Island School of Design Museum, Providence, Rhode Island. This captivating and caustic artwork on Limewood, dating back to AD 100 to 150, was discovered in Fayyam, Egypt. Believed to be rendered in tempera on wood and measuring 33 by 18.4 centimeters, this Egyptian portrait at the Rhode Island School of Design, RISD. Museum offers a remarkable glimpse into the artistic and cultural nuances of the era. The portrait's details and expression invite viewers to connect with the individuality captured in this ancient masterpiece, underscoring the enduring power of art across time. Fayyam Mummy Portrait at the British Museum, dating back to the 2nd century. 
This oak panel showcases a tempera portrait of a bearded man elegantly clad in a white tunic adorned with purple clavi. Discovered in Qam el Karaba el Kabir, formerly recorded as Rubaiyat, in the Fayyam region of Egypt, this artifact provides a tangible link to the past. With dimensions measuring length, 30.20 cm, width, 18 cm, and a weight of 128 grams, it offers a glimpse into the skillful artistry and sartorial preferences of individuals from this ancient period. Mummy Portrait of a Man at the Manchester Museum, Late 1st Century CE this captivating artifact portrays a man adorned in a white tunic accentuated by a dark red clavis. The intricate details captured in this late 1st century CE piece offer a visual journey into the fashion and artistic expressions of the time, providing a compelling glimpse into the cultural tapestry of the ancient world. Fire Mummy Portrait at the British Museum, this exquisite piece, dating between 100 and 120 CE, showcases a woman rendered in tempera on coarse stuccoed linen. The subject is depicted gracefully holding a glass unguentarium, offering a glimpse into the cultural practices and artistry of the time. The delicate portrayal captures both the beauty of the subject and the mastery of the artistic techniques employed during this period. Mummy Portrait at the Manchester Museum This captivating portrait of a man, with Hadrian-style hair, is a testament to the artistic finesse of the era. Crafted in wood, it is housed in the Manchester Museum and dates back to 117 to 138 CE, coinciding with the reign of Emperor Hadrian. The intricately detailed depiction provides a glimpse into the hairstyles and aesthetic preferences of the time, creating a fascinating link between art and history. Mummy Portrait at the Manchester Museum. This exquisite portrait captures the essence of a man adorned with a Baltius. Crafted in wood and dating back to 185 to 195 CE, it offers a glimpse into the fashion and accessories of the time. Housed at the Manchester Museum, the portrait serves as a captivating testament to the artistry and cultural nuances of the Roman Egyptian period. Mummy Portrait of a Woman at the Manchester Museum This enchanting portrayal of a woman, adorned with a necklace, is a captivating specimen from the Roman Egyptian era. Crafted in wood and dating back to 100 to 130 CE, it provides a glimpse into the artistic excellence and cultural nuances of the time. Housed at the Manchester Museum, this portrait stands as a testament to the rich heritage and individuality preserved in the enigmatic world of Fayyam mummy portraits. Detail of a Death Portrait this intricate snapshot unveils a fragment of the death portrait of a prosperous woman, meticulously painted between 160 to 170 AD near the contemporary town of Erubiyat in the Fayyam region. The captivating essence of this detail is only a glimpse into the larger canvas, which is vividly reproduced in the mysterious Fayyam portraits, Faces from Ancient Egypt by Euphrosyne Doxiavis, 1995, specifically featured in Plate 21. 
The full portrait, undoubtedly a masterpiece, holds the key to unraveling the stories and aesthetics of Roman Egypt. We're exploring a remarkable mummy portrait from the Roman era in Egypt, approximately dating back to 190 to 210 AD. This captivating piece, painted in encaustic on oak, hails from the necropolis of Arubiat in Fayum. Though the left half shows signs of deterioration, the portrait still stands as a testament to the ancient artistry of that time. Stay tuned for more insights into the mysterious Fayum portraits. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Portrait of a young lady from the 2nd century AD, hailing from Fayum, Egypt. The subject, born and died in Fayum, adorns big round earrings and a lovely necklace. Clad in a purple garment, she showcases delicate short hair styled in an exceptional fashion. An Egyptian painted wood mummy portrait of a young man from the Roman period, circa late 2nd century AD. This encaustic technique masterpiece depicts a young man with thick, curly black hair cascading onto his forehead, featuring arching eyebrows, almond-shaped eyes with long lashes and dark irises, full pursed lips, a mustache, and a short beard. He is adorned in a white cloak with preserved gilding on the neck, and blue delineating the folds. Standing at 13 and a half inches, 34.3 centimeters high, this portrait carries a rich provenance, having once been in the collection of Theodore Graf and later passing through renowned auctions, including Sotheby's in New York and London, before finding its way to Royal Athena Galleries in New York in 1996. A painted wood fine portrait of a man dating back to circa 80 to 140 AD. This remarkable piece, executed in the iconic fine portrait style, captures the essence of a man from the ancient Roman period. The painted wood panel portrays intricate details, including facial features, hairstyle, and attire offering a glimpse into the artistic sensibilities of the time. The portrait reflects the cultural fusion of Egyptian and Roman influences, providing a timeless connection to the individuals of that era. Mummy Portrait of Irene Roman, circa 4050th AD, origin unknown. Executed in encaustic on lime wood, this captivating portrait stands at a height of 37 centimeters with a maximum width of 16 centimeters and a thickness of 0.1 centimeters. Housed in the Landes Museum Wurttemberg, the portrait depicts the young Irene. A demotic inscription accompanying the portrait reveals her lineage. Irene, daughter of Sylvanus, her mother is Sempnutus. May her soul live forever before Osiris Soker, the great god, the lord of Abydus. Funerary portrait painting of a wealthy young woman from the Roman period. This captivating portrait, identified as Retrato di Donna, hails from the necropolis of El Fayum, dating back to the 2nd century AD. The depiction showcases the affluence of a young lady adorned with a wreath on her head, 
two opulent necklaces and elegant pearl earrings, providing a vivid glimpse into the opulence of Roman society during that era. All right, now that we've delved into the fascinating details of these captivating Fiam portraits, let's take a moment to appreciate their sheer beauty through a visual compilation. There is no need for further analysis. It is time only to enjoy the aesthetics and the hyper value that these images of cultural heritage offer to us, to modern people. I've gathered a collection of these incredible portraits, allowing you to immerse yourself in the artistry of each piece. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this visual journey into the Roman period, as we showcase the diverse faces captured on wood through encaustic painting. Don't forget to let me know your favorite in the comments below. Without further ado, let's dive into the mesmerizing world of fine portraiture. <laughs> 